Hey, Dina here. Um, a lot of people have been watching my Let's Plays and I've gotten a lot of um, comments asking how I how I make them and I can't give you any tips on doing an, a Let's Play that's entertaining because personally I don't even think mine is that entertaining. For some reason some people like it and it's fun to do so that's why I do it. But um, I can at least help you with the technical aspect. Um, you don't have to use all the same tools I'm using but I'm just showing you how I do it. This is kind of a probably more of a demonstration than a tutorial but you know I figured it might be kinda helpful so so here you go um, I'm gonna show it from beginning to end um, I'll show you uh, everything I use uh, well for starters here's my here's my microphone isn't that crazy it's, yeah um, you don't necessarily have to use one that's this this advanced I guess um, it's a it's a Samson QIU USB for whatever it's worth. Um, it's even got this cover on it to help with pee popping, but this is what it actually looks like. And it's got this little cover that goes on it, which I think we actually bought separately. Okay, there it goes. And it comes with this neat little stand. I hope this is showing up <laughs> well because I have so much black around here. It all kinds of kind of runs together, but yeah, I've got this little stand and it just I just set it up here pretty much pointed at me. So I'm just going to get started. Hope you can see everything I'm doing. So I'm, I have Camtasia running and it's going to record the screen. Hopefully it'll work. It's a really high resolution so I'm not sure how well that's going to work out but I'm going to try it. Uh, speaking of which, Camtasia is another uh, another program that you can use for doing Let's Plays. You can use uh, an emulator and just set up Camtasia to record it. I've actually done that for some of my uh, video game footage that I've done for various projects, so so that is another thing you can do that works. Um, in this case I'm using it to record uh, the screen in case I need to show like, you know, close-ups or whatever later on. So, <clears throat> showing this from beginning to end, um, this is my this is my file. Um, it's under, uh, and it's acting a little bit slow right now. Fuck. Okay, I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> Vegas sometimes gets a little bit slow, and it, it helps to close it and then reopen it. Unfortunately, it's a very big program, so it takes a little while to open. Basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to record an entire session. It's a very short session, because I'm at a point in the game where I'm almost about to beat it, and depending on what I do, I'll get one of two endings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record both endings. But I just need to get a little bit further in the game so that, you know, it's all set up so I can go for it and do one or the other. So I'm going to do that piece right now. So fortunately, it should only take me maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Um, usually when I record a sec uh, session of gameplay, I go for maybe 30 minutes to an hour. And then I go back and uh, edit it down and I cut it up into little, you know, 10 minute chunks to put up on YouTube. Oh my god. There we go, that's a lot better. Um, here is my Sony Vegas file. I don't know how well you can see this, but uh, I actually, when I first created this file, it was with the intention of having maybe one or two videos per file and I was just gonna have a whole bunch of Sony Vegas files. I've actually been able to put all of the sessions so far in one file so if you you can see all these tabs which show each one shows where the end of an the end of a, a segment is. So anyway finally getting to the good part now. And I'll show you how to do this kind of thing later. First thing I always do is put this little arm for record button and get the microphone ready to set up. For some reason, I have to put it on the, make it so that it records specifically on the left speaker. It just works better that way. I don't know why you'd have to ask Lee. So the first thing I'm going to do is test the microphone and make sure that it's, you know, plugged in and working and everything. Because you don't want to record like an hour of footage and then go back and find out that your microphone didn't record any of it. That would suck. 
Testing, testing. I think that worked. Let's see. Testing. Ow. Yeah, I think it worked. <laughs> let me turn down this mic. Actually, let me turn down the speakers because I don't want the PlayStation to be really loud either. Testing, testing. Okay, so it's working. And let's see. That's basically ready. Okay, so I've got I've got Sony Vegas ready to go. Um, now I'm going to get the game bridge ready. Um, first thing you want to do is make sure you have it set up to record to the right folder. And GameBridge is kind of weird. Well, of course, GameBridge is the actual gadget that you use to record with, and then, or what you use to play the games on your PC, and then the program you use to record with is Inter Video Home Theater. And you go into the config menu, and it's under a really weird spot. You go to the color tab. I have no idea what the hell they were thinking when they put it there, but. Of course it's taking a long time. Okay, there it goes. Just make sure it's at the right thing and let's play Resident Evil. So, yeah. I have to point something out. It is always, 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 wherever you point it to, it's going to create a folder in that folder called Recorded TV. You can't change what it's called. I mean, you can go back and rename it later if you want, but that's what it's going to call it, Recorded TV. and in fact, if you're record, if you want to record in a folder that already exists, you want to put it in the folder above that one. <laughs> Otherwise, it will rec make another folder in that folder called Recorded TV. It's it's retarded, but that's what it does. So, okay. Now we're gonna get the game bridge ready, or rather, this program ready. Enter video home theater. Kind of takes a while to get started. There we go. Put it on GameBridge, of course. Now I'm going to start up the PS2. In the beginning, I was using the portable PS1, but that one didn't work quite as well. And you're going to want to turn the volume down so that the microphone does not pick up the game too much. It's okay if it does a little bit, but you don't want it to be too overbearing. But you do want it loud enough that you can you can hear what's going on in the game, because you kind of have to be able to hear those sound cues. Um, I was going to say something big can wait. bit further. I think that's probably okay. Now what I'm going to do is let me see if the volume is good. That's pretty good. I think I can hear it and I think it's quiet enough that the microphone is not going to pick it up too much. <laughs> this is a crazy powerful microphone and it will pick up just about anything. Uh, load game. Basically getting it ready. So I'm just one click away from starting it. Okay. Okay, now I'm getting started for reels. Okay, everything's ready here. Now I hit the record button. Okay, it's now recording everything I say. And I'm going to minimize that because it'll keep running when it's minimized, thank God. Um, Already, just double click it so it full screens. Uh, oh, hit record, duh. Don't want to forget that. You notice I'm starting to record a little bit early. That's because you can always go back and, and cut off the beginning if you end up recording too much. If you record too little, you're screwed and have to start over, in theory. So, okay, here we go. Um, the way, this is going to seem goofy, but this is how I, I line up the two. 
when I'm done here, I'm going to have two files, right? I'm going to have the video file of the game itself, and then I'm going to have the, the sound file of my talking, narration, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to create this little cue that's going to make it easy to sync the two up later. So I'm about to hit the button. Okay, ready? Now. Now there's a typewriter strike. There's a the sound of a typewriter key strike. And I said the word now right when I hit the button so that later on I'll be able to uh, line those up. Okay, now for my let's play.